Today, I'm going to show you a very special recipe. In fact, I'm also showing you some basics in this recipe. I'm showing you how to clean squid and how to cook squid masala. Let's begin. Let's first begin with understanding the different parts of a squid. It has a whole tube which is called a tube or a trunk or a mantle. It has a very thin film like skin right on top of it which eventually needs to be peeled. At the base there are these two fins which of course could be just pulled out and you know that's where the peeling begins. It has a head, it has two eyes. The head is made up of two, three components. The first one is uh, the whole part where it almost looks like an octopus. They're called tentacles. There are eight of these. And then right in the middle, you have two of these long tentacles, like so, which is called the feeding tentacle. And right at the bottom here, if you notice, there are two sides, which are slightly prickly, like so. Now these are known as suckers. They use this to kind of cling onto different objects. Now that's getting into too much of detail literally. Uh, let's see how to clean a squid. The first thing is to pull out this whole part and bit here, like so. I'm going to keep this aside for now. Once you pull the head out, there's also a plastic-like object like so, which needs to be pulled out. I'm going to actually discard this right now to avoid any confusion. The next is this part, which is the trunk, the tube or the mantle. And this is the part where the fins are attached. You literally pinch it like so and remove the fin. Eventually, you need to take your thumb and try to take it under the skin and start peeling like so. Eventually, this whole thin skin would just come out like so. Pull this out. You also need to remove any residual from inside the body or the trunk. Well, this actually need not be done at home because if you're really friends with your fish fork, they would do all of this and give it to you. But this is actually for the uninitiated. It's important to kind of know what the right and the wrong is, especially in the kitchen. Now this part that you see here, which we've literally pulled out from the body of the squid, is the roe. If you're somebody who really likes squid roe, you can pan fry this or use it in the same recipe. For now, I'm just keeping this aside because all I need is the head, which has the tentacles, the fin and the body rings. From the part of the body, if I can quickly puncture this little thing and show you, this is where the squid ink literally is. This is black in color. This is literally deep green, deep blue, almost black in color. And this is used in a lot of pasta doughs where uh, squid ink plays a very important role in coloring the pasta. For now, I need to wash my hands because otherwise I'm going to tint up the entire working table. Just back in a second. Time to snip this part as well, very carefully, like so. And this also has another part which could be used. But the eyes, of course, need to be discarded. So this part eventually could also be snipped like so, cleaned and put to use. So I'm going to keep the fins aside. I'm of course going to keep the squid body aside, like so. And this is where the tentacles are. Of course, if you want this to look nice and pretty, you can snip off the long tentacles so that eventually when this gets cooked, it looks like a pretty little octopus on the plate. Right here in the center, you need to puncture it like so with the help of your thumb and remove this little seed-like thing which literally is the eating mouth of the squid. Your tentacles are also right here. So you have the fin, you have the body and you have the tentacles right here. Once the squid is cleaned, it's also important to wash this in either running water or a bowl of water. Let's transfer this tube straight on the cutting board.
Finally, we cut these into rings like so. Eventually, I'm going to collect all of this and drop this again in water for one final rinse. And these rings now go with the remaining parts of the squid. Now that the squids are clean and ready, and by now, if you've made friends with your fish fork and you have this ready, let's move in straight to the recipe. First things first, wok on high flame, kadhai, pan, anything just works well. Oil a little more. The oil is hot now. Let's begin with chopped red onions. Increase the flame and fry this till they are beautifully just kind of beginning to turn golden brown in color. Time to add in paste of ginger and garlic. Cook this till the raw flavor goes away. Time to add in chopped tomatoes. Salt and spices. Beginning with red chilli powder, depending on the kind of spice you're looking at in this recipe. Turmeric powder, garam masala, and along with this, I'm going to add in tamarind pulp. Now, of course, this has been soaking in water for a while. I'll just collect all the residue. Let's mix all of this and bring all of this together. We need to mash the tomatoes with the back of the ladle or the spatula. And once all of this gets mushy, we add in the squids. Let's mix all of this, ensuring that the flame is always high. After cooking this on high flame for around five to seven minutes, of course the flame. The squid masala is done and ready and the squids directly in the serving bowl. Just before serving, another layer of flavor, fried curry leaves, onion rings and lemon. With this squid masala done and ready, you can eat this with a malbari paratha, chapati, fulkas, naan, roti, jeera rice, dal fry, the list is on and on and on. But you know what? I would prefer it just like that. Squid masala. Ladies and gentlemen, from my kitchen to yours. Bye for now.